Hey, what's up, Scott Balker, with Imagination Creation Films, and today we're talking about the Round Bay 360 orbiting rig, and it could have you spin me right round, baby, right round, like a record, baby, right round, round, round. <laughs> We'll check out the Rao Bay rig here in just one moment, but first, some housekeeping. Rao Day did send this unit over to me for evaluation, but as always, no money has changed hands, and they have no say in the review whatsoever. So, you know, if you smile at the thought of me busting through a brick wall yelling, Hey, Kool-Aid! Then, hey, oh. oh. um, yeah, subscribe. So this is the Rao Bay 360 rig, and it's quite simple, but also quite flexible and useful. And I'll be showing you the unit as you get it, and a few options that they sell for it as well. And a cool modification I made to it and taking it to the next level, and I'm all about that next level. So the base unit itself has to be assembled, and it goes together fairly simple and straightforward. It's a couple of Allen wrenches, which you do get. Um, and then you use those to later make any adjustments. And it has adjustable feet for uneven terrain and it can handle 330 pounds on the platform. Now, in fairness, that does not mean I can just walk up and stand on it. You need to center the weight on the middle and try not to drift too much to one side. The, the top is made from particle board, um, but it's bolted to a steel stamp frame. And honestly, it's probably the weakest part of the design, but it can handle the rated weight with the right attention. Now they offer a couple of options for the kit as well. There is the extension and background kit, which is pretty useful for taller subjects and or for keeping the background the same as the camera rotates. You can also use it to mount lights, so you'll always have a backlight, say, on your subject. Now they also offer a VESA monitor mount option, so you could use a monitor as a background, but honestly, that's likely to cause some troubles if you're wanting to do 360 moves. If you're just filming 180 degrees or so, then you'll be fine. And you have to think about the cables, the power, etc. Those those monitors don't just power themselves. Not, not in this day and age. Give, give it a little bit of time. So what kind of shots can you get with it? Well, right off the bat, you can get bullet time for products and, well, people. But when you slow down, you can get, well, kind of some amazing product shots showing off your product with, say, the lighting staying in place, which is a very nice look. Normally, when you just rotate the product on a turntable, the lighting is always coming from the same direction or orientation as the camera. On an orbiting rig, the camera can see the lighting from all sides, giving, well, a completely different look. You can also use it for, say, 3D scanning photography. Just slowly rotate the rig, slowly, and uh, have your camera snap a photo every second or so, and, well, we'll take that to the next level in a minute. Want to do a little Bayhem with a classic Michael Bay hero shot? You can do that. <laughs> just got real. <laughs> There's a lot you can do with the Rao Bay 360 rig straight out of the box, but what if we take it to the next level? Because, well, the system is a great building block to start from. A simple 3D printed gear pressed onto the Rao Bay machined hub transforms this into something even more incredible. Honestly, I wonder if they had this in mind from the beginning because there's exactly enough room for a gear in there. Next, I added the power block from Kessler, well, to the base, and uh, used a 3D printed gear on top of that. Got a XL timing belt from Amazon. And now I have a powered Orbital 360 rig. Now here's where the magic happens. Without a motor, you're using your hand to spin the rig when you, you need it to go around. And well, when you grab it to spin, you inject a little bit of wiggle, just a little bit, which, you know, it's gonna take a little, little bit of time, a couple of seconds to calm down. Now, this is completely normal behavior and almost any manual rig is gonna have this. 
But the motor gets rid of the hand and, and, well, and the wiggle. The second problem with manual spinning is, well, aerodynamic drag. The camera, the rig, the background, they're all affected by air. And when you spin it, it will slow down each revolution because of drag. Where the problem comes in is if you want to do, say, like a product swap out shot, where you're swapping out the product on each go round. Well, it can be very difficult to match the speed perfectly by hand. It's technically possible. But with a motor, no wiggle, no speed variations, just bliss. And you can spin it quite fast. So say those slow motion drops, yeah, those are quite fun. But let's kick it up a notch more by adding in, say, a turntable onto the base and putting the product on the turntable. Now you can shoot both styles of lighting that we talked about before at the same time, or maybe you take a nice look around the product and then suddenly the product stops in front of the camera while the key light continues to move to highlight a few features or reverse the product while orbiting. It really opens up some really unique and great looks that you cannot get with a turntable. And using it for 3D skating photography, especially with, say, the motor from Kessler and a controller, you can program it to take photos at exact intervals. That's perfect for 3D scanning. So what are the pros and cons of the Raubei? Pros, it's fairly inexpensive to get the shot. Right out of the box, you can get the shot. And honestly, it's very well engineered. The main bearing unit, which was my area of biggest concern before I received it, was surprisingly well thought out and well, well built. So I do need to give them applause for building the unit to such a high standard. It is manufactured very well. The bearing is the most important part. Now it can be improved with a little DIY and that's kind of cool because, well, some designs can't be improved just by their design. So it's pretty slick. Cons, spinning it by hand will limit your shots quite a bit because, well, grabbing the wig will spin and cause a little shake and it'll take a few seconds to settle and then just the drag alone will slow the spin rather quickly. So that's why I added the motor to it and it kind of removes both of these. And Another con is it takes a lot of room to operate safely. Uh, and you should always operate safely, so you have to keep that in mind. When we did the hero shot, the, the little bay hem there, that took an incredible amount of room. It was about a 15 foot diameter circle for safety because that thing's spinning pretty fast. And uh, yeah, you don't want to be around there. Uh, the shots. Well, they're a little limited just because of the nature of the shot itself. You can only orbit around something in the middle. And well, this does become a rather specialty rig. But again, you're getting shots that most can't do. So specialties become a specialty. So what do you think about the Raubei 360 rig? Are there some cool shots that you can think of that, that it can do? Let me know in the comments down below. I'm always looking to try new things. And remember to support the channel by becoming a channel member. It's super easy to do and you get access to things like seeing this review before it's released on the channel. And if you support via the top tiers, you'll get your name in the credits like these wonderful people. And as always, as I like to leave it, don't let your passions center around your life. Let your life center around your passions. Mm -hmm.